So once you've downloaded everything and you've installed it, again, watch my other video tutorials that I, I showed you how to get that done. Once you've installed it, you want to click on this link right here to go to the front end of your website. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of details about how Joomla works and all those things because I have other trainings for that. And you click here, this is going to bring you to the home page. Now, whenever you install a template, I tell people this, make sure that you double check it with the original. So let's go back to their website. So let's go back to the actual template. So let's go over to the demo. You want to make sure that what you install, it's what is actually on the demo site. So this is what it's been installed. And this is what's on the demo. So you want to cross check it. Does it look the same? Just kind of scroll through because I've seen this happen so many times where people download something and they don't really care to check to make sure that the links are working right, that the images are working right, that things are um, how it's supposed to be. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to that. Once you see that that's working how it needs to be, the next thing you want to do is just kind of go through the pages again. So let's go through review, okay? The beautiful thing about starting with a framework is that you have all the pieces that's needed to get going so if you wanted to just edit the content on here with your own you can do that in just a moment i'm going to show you how you can go on the back end to make some changes again this tutorial this training is for beginners this is for beginners so if i'm not going to get too complex because i don't want to get you confused so let's take a look now this is the home page. You scroll through, you look through it. It's very nice, very elegant, and very professional design. Everything looks good so far. So let's scroll up here. Now let's take a look at the layouts. They have several layout options. You have the corporate, you have the features intro, you have the magazine, and you have the block, the list, and the grid options. So what this means is that if you want to use any one of these layouts as a starting point for your website, you can certainly do so. So let's take a look first at the corporate. So this is the corporate, the one you're looking at now. Next, let's take a look at the features intro. So this is the layout. So if you want to use the features intro as a starting point for your website, this is a great way to do so. So you scroll through it and you see how this looks. It looks okay. And then you will go to the magazine layout. If you want to start like a, a magazine or like a blog type of website, this is something too that can work. So you scroll down. That looks good. Now let's check out the blog, the grid layout. And let's check out the list layout. Okay. Now it's, it's so important to remember this you have the option to choose the type of layout that you want for your website. And whenever you build in a landing page or a website, based on the industry that you're in, certain layouts just look better, okay? So as you're going through these, if you want to use this as a starting point, go through the entire site and just kind of get a feel for it. Because when you get a feel for it, then you can say, okay, I like this layout, I don't like that layout, I like this part, and I don't like that. So now let's take a look at the header. They have several headers here. The header is this top section you see right here. So what that means is you can click, put your mouse over this and you can see the header, the layout one, two, three, and four. So you have multiple header layouts that you can use as an option. So let's take a look at the first one, layout one. Now you notice that it changes from the first one. So you put your mouse over here. This is the header part, the menu, the logos on the left, you have the off uh, canvas here. It's on this right. Let's take a look at the layout two. And you notice again, that changes. Let's take a look at the layout three. So this is the head of three. And then let's take a look at the head of four. Now you can use this interchangeably with whatever you're doing. So if you like the head of one with, let's say you want to go with uh, the layout features intro you can do that but this just shows you the options for the layouts that you have and then you have the classic layouts the full width the column 
and the different things here. So let's go back now to the, the section here for the header part. Now again, this is important because some people want to have their headers in a different section, in a different way. So once you've decided what header you want to go with and what layout you want to go with, then you pretty much have everything that you need from there.